Hello everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. And welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little bit more of a chill video because I have the coffee book tag and I have my coffee today. Yes, it's in a Gryffindor mug. Yes, I'm a Hufflepuff. Deal with it. <laughs> the mug that I use because this is my biggest mug and it is my favorite mug size wise. I have a Hufflepuff mug too and I do use it. Just this one's bigger. So today as I just said I'm doing the coffee book tag. I'm very excited to do this because I just saw Zoe Reads. Yeah Zoe Reads Z-O-E-E-R-E-A-D-S. Zoe Reads do this tag and I thought why not do it myself? I am very excited about it because <laughs> I love coffee and I'm here. So I love coffee and I love books. So let's get into it. So number one, black. Name a series that's tough to get into but has hardcore fans. So for this one, I was originally going to say Game of Thrones because the book series itself, I think is a little bit more tricky to get into, but because I find that the like the series as a whole is actually like really 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 popular right now that I probably won't like this is like a, a maybe but I'm also going to say Lord of the Rings because these books are dense as hell and a lot of people have a lot of issue trying to read these but the fans of these are so hardcore including me because my friend had me read them this past year, 2018 and 2019, and I adore them. And because the movies for these have a lot of fans as well, even though it's extremely high fantasy. And I, the, the books are a little slow at the beginning, but they're amazing, so I highly suggest you get into these. The next question is Peppermint Mocha. Name a book that gets more popular during the winter or a festive time of year. So for that, I was going to use like Harry Potter because that is like the biggest one that everybody seems to read around the fall or Christmas, you know, but then I was like, why not just use the most Christmassy book of Christmas? A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I'm going to use that as his prompt because yeah, it does get more popular around Christmas. I read this now for the past two years, I've read it on Christmas Eve myself so it's great I, I adore this book and this version of it is like a little children's illustrated copy and I found it at oh, the little inscription says Merry Christmas Maeve love daddy 2003 adorable anyways so if I can find it's like an illustrated edition anyways that's besides the point it gets more popular around Christmas for sure <laughs> Hot chocolate. What is your favorite children's book? So this is why I didn't use Harry Potter for the last prompt because there is nothing I love more than Harry Potter. So this entire series, favorite children's book of all time, favorite book of all time, but we're using it for this prompt because technically it's middle grade, but I adore it. So it's here. So the next prompt is called Double Shot of Espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I have two books because a lot of the books that I read in 2018 and the beginning of this year were amazing and they did keep me on the edge of my seat. So the very first one I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I could not put this down. I devoured this in a few days because I was just enraptured with this world. I was kept on the seat, the edge of my seat the entire time. And the second book I have is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This one literally kept me on the edge of my seat because I finished this entire book in one sitting. 500 pages in one sitting. I have never done that before except for this book. It is incredible. I adore Brandon Sanderson's writing and his world building and the stakes and everything. Fantastic book. The next prompt is Starbucks. Name a book you see everywhere. Now this could be a lot of things. It could be any of the Shadowhunter books. It could be any of the um, Grisha trilogy books. But instead, I went with Six of Crows because this book is 
everywhere, especially right now. I've noticed like an upswing in books and t people talking about this because there's a lot of new books coming out, especially with the end of BEA and BookCon, which I didn't get to, which I didn't go to because I live in Canada and I'm a tiny, tiny little booktuber and money, I don't have that. Um, but coming off of that and seeing all like everybody's book hauls, a lot of people are talking about this because there's a lot of books that are coming out that are similar to it, which I find really cool. But yes, this one is everywhere and I still haven't read it. I know. So the next prompt I actually couldn't find anything for. It is that hipster coffee shop. Give a book by an indie author a shout out and I don't actually own any of them. Anything. I googled it even and I mean you guys might be able to see one if you can see my shelves. I don't know. I don't know where to even start with that which is awful. I really need to get myself a a book from an indie author for sure because you gotta support your indie authors. <laughs> the next prompt is oops I accidentally got decaf. Name a book you were expecting more from. Now I have a few of these and the two of them, the two that I have chosen today, people are gonna scream. <laughs> I know they are. I know they are. I know they are. But so the two books I have are unfortunately can't do this with one hand. No! You see by Madeline Miller and A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Both of these books I was a little bit disappointed by. A little bit and then a lot disappointed by A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is the reason why I'm not reading any more of Sarah J Maas's books. There's the tea. Uh, but seriously I just finished a little like um, less than a week ago and I was expecting more from it even though I gave it four stars. Which is why it's on this prompt. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. Ah. The next prompt is the perfect blend. Name a book or series that was both bitter and sweet, but ultimately satisfying. So for this, I went with a book I read for school that was incredibly heartbreaking, but also one of my all-time favorite reads and really affected me a lot, and I don't really talk about it enough. And that is A Tale for the Time Being by... Ruth Ozeki. It is a story about a lady in BC and then a girl in Japan and the lady in BC finds the girl's like diary or whatever and like reads it and it's absolutely heartbreaking and it's a diary about um, the girl keeps a diary because she's going to kill herself but she wants to like document her grandma's life first um, and then so you hear about the grandma's life and then the, girl, and the lady in BC, her life as well is like intertwined with the life. It's a fabulous book. It is incredibly bittersweet, but also really wonderful. And I just adore it, which is why I'm using it for this prompt. The next prompt is green tea. Name a book or series that is quietly beautiful. Now, this one I came across because of, I won a giveaway on Bookstagram like last year and the person who hosted the giveaway sent this book along with an Agatha Christie book and it, this is a middle grade book and when I read it I was just instantly in love with it. This should be on every single kid's TBR. I swear to god. It is a book by Claire Legrand called Some Kind of Happiness. It is about a little girl named Finley Hart and she's got um, anxiety and depression and um, she goes and lives with her like extended family while her mom and her dad are like trying to figure out their lives and like if they're gonna get divorced and all that and Finley like has to deal with her own mental illnesses but she doesn't know what they are really and she also writes this like fantastical story and she when she um, goes to this goes to this um, family home uh, she sees the forest in the back and she's like that's the forest from my stories. What? And then like things start to align and stuff like that and it's just a beautiful story about a little girl trying to find herself and this is why I chose it for this one because this is quietly gorgeous and I want everybody to read this book. The next prompt is chai tea. Name a book or series that makes you dream of far off places and for this one I was going to choose Harry Potter again because that is one of the only books that really makes me want to go there more than anything else. I want to go to Hogwarts. I want to live in that world. 
But then I was really thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? Every book kind of in a way makes me want to go places. Um, for example, oh, I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it anywhere. I must have misplaced it from somewhere. But um, Love and Gelato made me want to go to Italy. And I've read um, Again But Better made me want to go to England, even though I want to go to England every day of my life. So I'm going to include all of the books on my shelves for this prompt because I think all of them make me want to go to far off places. Especially when they're places of like fantasy or sci-fi or anything like that. All of them. All of my books. <laughs> and the very last question is, what is your favorite classic? And oh, the prompt is Earl Grey. What's your favorite classic? And for that one, I have Jane Eyre. This one is one of my favorite classics. It is the top one that I have right now. But I also really adore Picture of Dorian Gray and Pride and Prejudice. The top three are all my favorites. But this one edges it out. It is all those of just a smidge. Just a smidge. <laughs> but that is it. Alright friends, that's all I have for you guys today. This is my coffee book tag. I should really have my mug in my hand, shouldn't I? Coffee! This is my coffee book tag for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what some of your answers to these prompts are. If you've done the book tag, this coffee book tag, tell me and I'll go find it and I will watch it because I love watching people's tags. Also, let me know down below if, you sh if I should do any more book tags like this, which ones I should do because I enjoy book tags so much. They're some of my favorite videos to film because it makes me explore my bookshelves a little bit more. Anyways, so make sure to like this video, it really helps me out, and subscribe down below and hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. And uh, follow me on all my social medias, they're down below in the description. And uh, that's all today. Make sure to stay kind and keep on reading.